Hello everyone, I'm Curtis with Rapid3D and today's project is going to be scanning a dirt bike for a customer of ours. Alright, so the project today is going to be scanning the underside of this KTM 150SX dirt bike for a customer of ours who wants to design skid plates for the underside of these bikes. They don't come factory with a skid plate or mounting provisions for one, so our customer has requested all of the geometry from the underside of the bike so that he can design his own mounting system. In order to get all that geometry very quickly and very accurately, we're going to be using the Creoform GoScan Spark today. This is a self-positioned white light scanner, and it can position itself based off of either reflective targets or the geometry of the subject itself. So I think today there should be enough geometry on the underside of this bike to not require targets, but let's get the bike off the stand and see what we're working with. All right, it looks like we have more than enough geometry to self-position that scanner without targeting dots. Um, we have the whole engine case and the chassis rails to work from. If it had a very repetitive pattern, such as the, the spokes on a wheel or something, we'd have to use some positioning dots to prevent it from skipping around. But it looks like we have more than enough here, so let's go get the scanner set up and get to work. So in order to prepare our scanner, we've plugged it into our laptop, we're running the latest edition of VX Elements on the laptop, and we're gonna do a quick field level calibration. So we have our calibration played out. We're gonna to navigate to the calibration tab in VX Elements. And that's gonna give us a ghost image of the scanner pointed at the plate. All we're gonna to need to do is activate our scanner, point it at the plate, and then match its position with the ghost image as it guides us through 14 positions 10 straight vertical, and then one facing from each side. And that's it. That's all it takes for the scanner to self-calibrate for uh, changes in temperature and ambient pressure. And then we're all done, and we can set up our parameters to scan. So for scanning parameters that we wanna set up before we start scanning the bike, the two big ones are gonna be resolution and positioning method. Resolution refers to how big the triangles are that the scanner meshes together. So it defaults to one millimeter, which should be plenty for the detail level that we're looking to capture on this bike. The spark can go down to 0.2 of a millimeter resolution if you have very detailed objects that you wanna get. Um, at that resolution though, it is gonna be a very large file size and it is gonna take a long time to scan. So for something like this bike, one millimeter should be more than enough. For positioning method, we can do targets only, targets and geometry, or targets, geometry, and texture. Um, for this, we're gonna be using geometry. Because we're using targets and geometry, if it does happen to find a target on the bike, it will use that target to position itself, but it doesn't require them. So we have that clicked. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're going to acquire texture the Spark has a color capture camera on it, so if we activate that, it'll get an accurate representation of the color and texture on all the scan, and it'll map that over top of the, the mesh. And we're gonna use that in the future, but for right now, let's hit scan and get started. All right, that scan turned out great. 
You can see we have all the geometry on our, our lower frame rails, on the bottom of the engine, all of our bolt holes are picked up, the exhaust pipes all, uh, all picked up. So this, we could stop here. This is enough to design the skid plate around. Our client will be more than happy with this. But we have the bike here. We have the scanner set up. Let's just scan all of it. All right, and with that, we have a full color, dimensionally accurate STL that we can give to our customer for him to do all of his design work off of. The Spark performed awesome, scanning the entire bike with only a few targets on the, the rim sections and never missing a beat. So if you guys want any more information on either the Spark or what we do here at Rapid 3D, we'll throw the links in the description below. Feel free to contact us with any questions and Thanks for watching.